Hey guys, it's Quickie Baby and Patch 9.9 .9 just hit the European server today and I've rushed to get you my mod pack working in its entirety. This video will let you know what my mod pack will do for your user interface, how it can help your game, and what you need to do exactly to install it and customize it. So firstly you want to download this zip file Quickie Baby mod pack 9.9 .9 in the description box down below you can find a link of where you can download it. Then you want to open it up and inside there will be a 0.9.9 .9 folder, a configs folder and a mods folder. Then you want to navigate to your world of tanks folder which for me is in program files 86, open up the reds mods folder and then simply copy paste the 0.9.9 .9, the configs and the mods folder from the zip file you just downloaded into your res mods folder. Next, if you want to use the statistics in this mod pack, then you have to activate your World of Tanks account on modxvm.com. Simply sign in using the Wargaming API system on whatever region you're on. Then you want to click Activate Services and Update Statistics. This will activate the statistics part of XVM for two weeks, and if you want to continue, simply just come back and repeat this step. This is also where you can customize a few of the features. If you don't want to see your chance to win, then uncheck these or check them if you want them. And you can also disable specific statistics here if you're interested. If you've performed all of these steps correctly, then you will have a message in your notifications center telling you that XVM is active. That is the green light for the mod pack fully working. There are a few very useful things that this mod pack will do for your garage. Firstly, there is an automatically return crew checkbox here. And so that means you can quickly put your crew into a vehicle. Here, for example, we see my Comet crew going into the Comet and I can go back to the Cromwell Berlin and my Comet crew are automatically moved into them as it's a premium vehicle. When you've got a lot of tanks and a lot of premium vehicles like me, that can come in very handy. And another awesome feature is the filter by tier option in the bottom. If I only want to play tier 10 tanks today, then I simply click up there and they're all at my disposal. And also there are a few funky filters here. If you want to maybe only play premium tanks, of course there are no tier 10 premium tanks, but there are a lot of tier eight premium tanks. Or if I only want to play tanks that do not have an Ace Tanker Mastery Badge. Wow, I need to get going on this. There are also a few changes to the service record. You can check out what your WN8 is, as well as how well you might be performing in individual tanks. So as you load into the game, you're going to be greeted by statistics of yourself, your team and your opponents. Here we can see the number of games that each player has played. I've played 30,000 games. Maybe it's time to go outside a little bit. Their WN8 rating, which can give you an indication of roughly how skilled the player might be, and the overall win percentage on their account, which is another great indicator of how influential they can be in each one of their battles. If you've enabled it as well, XVM will estimate your team's chances to win this battle. This can be a useful indicator about how hard you might have to carry a game, or whether it's a little bit more secure and you can afford to play aggressively. As you're driving around, there are going to be a few indicators on your minimap which are very useful and really should be implemented into the standard game, at least in my opinion. This white square is the render distance limitation. It is 500 meters and outside of that you physically won't be able to see the tank on your screen. But that still doesn't mean that you can't shoot them, so if an enemy has just gone outside this range, you might still be able to take a pot shot at them. The cyan circle indicates 445 meters, and that is the maximum spotting distance in the game. And if, unlike me, you haven't got to 445 meters view range, there will be another circle inside this which indicates where you will spot an opponent if they have a zero camera rating. One of the useful features as well of the mod pack is the ability to zoom out further. This will allow you to have a look around the battlefield, feel more comfortable in your surroundings, and maybe get a few different angles of view on your opponents. But I hasten to add that this mod pack does not affect the way that your sniper mode will work in the slightest. And be very careful about modifications that do affect the way that your sniper mode works, as Wargaming have been cracking down on them, especially on the North American server. XVM also highlights the last known spotted location of the enemy team on the minimap, but that has been in the game vanilla. You can find the setting right about here for the last couple of patches, but I feel like these mess up my overlay and they're not quite as clean cut as the way that XVM have implemented them. Also, there is a hit log in the top left hand corner. It tells you how much damage you've done so far in this battle, which can be very useful if you're trying to complete a mission, and it can also give you an indication whether you're getting closer to that elusive mastery badge. 
If you haven't noticed, I am playing in the brand new SP-1C, the Speer Panzer SP-1C. This is the replacement for the Alpha Planung's Panzer Panther. And if you're interested, I've done a full preview on this brand new Tier 7 German light tank autoloader on this channel, so you can go and check that out. And so that is all of the features of the mod pack. I like to play the game as close to the, the original vanilla game client as possible, so that if I was ever needed to play without modifications, for example, if I had to play in some kind of an ESL tournament, then it wouldn't be a very big adjustment for me. I, I could pretty much play exactly how I do with or without modifications. So hopefully you guys enjoy this mod pack. I've done the hard work so you don't have to, so please consider giving this video a like down below and feel free to share it around. My mod pack has been downloaded millions of times now over the, the last few versions of the client. And if or when XVM release some more updates, I will be updating the version of the mod pack in the description down below. But as always, guys, best of luck to you in 9.9. .9. Get out there and kick some butt and hopefully... I'll see you soon.